Hello everyone, um, my name is Hannah Kent, this is Rory, and I'm very excited to be reading a poem for you all today. Uh, thanks very much Line Break for asking me to read them. The poem I've chosen is called Aspiration, it's by a poet called Holly McNeish, uh, she's really great, I recommend you look her up. And um, I think the reason why I've chosen this poem should hopefully be self-evident. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time indoors, I'm sure all of us probably watching a bit of crap telly, and I think this poem maybe speaks to that. Aspiration. After watching Grand Designs on telly for the last time. Sarah and Tim have moved from the city, from highly paid jobs to the country's fresh air. They've bought a big barn for a barn renovation, and the TV presenter has side parted hair. And I stare at the screen and Tim looks at Sarah, and the TV presenter talks a bit more. And he calls them adventurous and daring and brave as 20 blurred workmen parquet their floor. And I stare at our walls and the picture hook holes and the mark on the carpet I couldn't scrub out. And I imagine fresh paint and wallpaper patterns and affording thick curtains that trail to the ground. And Tim's sitting down with the architect now and he wants bigger windows to let in more light. And Sarah is showing off heavy silk fabric that they haggled to five pounds in Bali one night. And Sarah and Tim now sit sipping coffee as the TV presenter tells them they're mad. And they nibble on nuts from a vintage glass ashtray as 10 workmen sweat just in shot at the back. And I plump up the cushions and imagine new cushions as we nibble on nuts eaten straight from the packet. And Tim says, sometimes I think I'm too daring and we see Sarah's smile pat the arm of Jim's jacket. And I imagine fresh paint and wallpaper patterns and buying more cushions and silk woven sheets. And I think how those nuts might taste from a bowl on a dining room table carved straight out of a tree. And I daydream the intakes of breath as I sit and announce that the paintwork is farrow and ball. And I imagine the cheese for the toasties we're eating is chopped on a reclaimed wood solid oak board. And then I get bored of this dream and I realise I do not like Tim and that soon enough we die. <laughs> bit morbid but a bit funny. Um, I hope you're all okay. I hope that, um, that uh, hopefully restrictions will be able to ease up soon and that we'll all be able to see our loved ones again um, and that if you're not doing okay, hang in there um, and celebrate the things that we can celebrate now like poetry.